Welcome to the Gladiator Round Tournament. And if you're new to my channel, the Gladiator Round, of course, is a giant tournament that I'm having for each decade, and this decade is the 1990s, probably the most popular tournament in all of the uh, Gladiator Rounds. Anyway, this is Paul Dillette versus Roland Zerlock. And, of course, you may be thinking to yourself, Zerlock stands zero chance. And I may tend to agree, but he is a professional, and he does have some aspects there that are willing to do battle against the Big Paul. Nice little set of legs there on Zerlock. Nice tiny waist, but no way, shape, or form is he winning in this standing relaxed position. Paul is a beast. Anyway, let's go to the front double biceps. And dare I say, not one member of this 16-man tournament could touch Paul Dillette in this front double bicep pose. Just superb, and he is really, really in tremendous condition in this picture. I believe this is a Grand Prix Germany, don't quote me, won that event. Awesome condition. Wow, look at those biceps. Zerlock stands no chance, and I don't know why Zerlock is airing out his armpits. This is a front double bicep pose. No disrespect to you, big man, Zerlock. Anyway, the even bigger man wins this hands down. All right, let's have a look at the front lat spreads. And I don't believe this, but I'm giving this one to old Zerzer. He's taking out Paul Dillette. Paul was never good at this pose, and you should have seen the other ones. Atrocious. He doesn't know how to make himself proper. He's always oblonged. One lat sticks out farther, as well as the traps. But aside from that, he is still in tremendous condition here. But Zerzer is just incredible in this pose, I will say. Filled out that lat region just to a T. Anyway, I can't believe this, but Zerzer gets the point on Paul Dillette. All right, let's have a look at the side chests. And Zerlock has tied this one up, ladies and gentlemen. He is impressing me quite a bit here. Paul Dillette's conditioning is just atrocious. Looks like an old Swedish meatball. Anyway, Zerlock, like I said, very impressive. That's... Two against two? Anyway, Paul Dillette could be in trouble. All right, next pose. And for those of you who are familiar with my judging, you know that I do not appreciate this stance of Zerlock, the way he is snapping the side tricep. Not a fan at all. Makes it more difficult for judging. Of course, he looks in better condition. Everybody does when they're flexed like this. You're able to flex your obliques a lot better but you're able to display your tricep a whole lot better. And when you compare these two triceps, Zerlock looks like a little boy's tricep, and Delitz is, he's the man, man's man. Wow, look at that big tricep, big lobster claw. Anyway, he redeems himself with the side tricep. Let's have these two gentlemen turn around. Let's have a look at the backs. Man, I can't believe this, but Zerlock may make a huge upset here in this gladiator round. Paul Dillette is very weak in this pose, as you all may know. I mean, he has the muscle. Look at those traps, just massive. But look at his lats, especially compared with Zerlock's. Look at the detail and the amount of meat gone into those lats. Very low set of lats as well. But anyway, those glutes are far better. He's in better condition here than Dillette. I don't know, ladies and gentlemen. I'd be embarrassed to hand a loss to Dillette to, against Zerlock. But anyway, let's continue. And these are two very terrible rear double bicep poses. Wow, my soul. This is a hard one for me to pick a winner in. Because in my opinion, neither of these are a winning shot. I mean, Zerlock, he has some hard, grainy nature in the back, and he has, has some width as well, but he's all oblonged, and his symmetry is way off, and I'm talking way off. 
Look at those glutes. One looks like a big fluffy marshmallow Jay Cutler glute. And the other one is somewhat striated. But look at the back itself. Terrible, terrible. And then Paul Dillette. Where do I begin? He just... He has nothing back there to display. It looks like a little petite back, but it's symmetrical anyway, at least in this shot. Hard to find a good one. I guess I'm going to lean towards Paul because of the glutes and the legs here. Much better in that aspect. All right, next pose. And Zerlock has done everything in his power to combat against the big Jurassic Paul. But nothing doing. What an impressive big steed this Jurassic Paul is. So anyway, ladies and gentlemen, if you're taking count, that is five victories for Paul in this. And I'm surprised Zerlock has made it to the most muscular. Anyway, this tournament is heating up. And with the advancement of Paul Dillette, gives Andreas Munzer something to think about. Anyway, of course, before we begin these second round matches, we go way over to the other side and look at the star-studded lineup over here. The next match is a big one, Dorian Yates, and he is one of the top seeds in this entire thing. He takes on Paul DeMeo, so it should be a good one. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this uh, presentation, and have a good day.